Welcome back to Discover Mexico, where we will make traveling to this beautiful destination a breeze. Mexico has an amazing tradition of festivals, whether they celebrate life or death, animals, religious icons, rowing, or even ice sculpture. Festivals give your travels a fresh perspective. You may see typical ceremonies only performed during this time. You'll feel entirely at home as everyone joins in the celebrations. Streets come alive with music and vibrant parades. So stick with me to discover everything you need to know about the five most important Mexican festivals. These festivals will amaze you with charm. Each country has charm and some unique and incredibly relevant parties exist. However, in Mexico, some parties transcend national borders to the point where they appear in well-known movies. But there is much more, including outstanding food, traditional attire, music, and vigorous activities. This video will show you more about the festivities you must attend. So without wasting time, let's dive in. Number 5. Ambulante Film Festival Around the start of the year, the Ambulante Documentary Film Festival makes its annual stop in Mexico City. It screens a wide range of documentaries, and they appear at movies, workshops, and panels held at various venues around the city. This festival is a must-see if you're a massive fan of Gael Garcia or Diego Luna because they were two founders of Ambulante and frequently appear at events. The ideal festival for lovers of documentaries. You may simply travel there from La Palomila because many screenings are held in our neighborhood. Number 4. Vive Latino the Vive Latino Festival is undoubtedly an excellent choice for music lovers. This well-known occasion brings together the top Latin music artists in the business for a two-day performance series at Foro Sol. The lineup features a wide range of musical styles and talents every year. They've lately started inviting well-known non-Latin acts. This musical variety ensures a beautiful experience. You may take the metro from Sevilla Station to Puebla Station to reach there from La Palomila. Number 3. Day of the Dead Suppose a celebration occupies a privileged place among the most important festivities in Mexico. In that case, it is the Day of the Dead, an event that brings people closer to their loved ones who are no longer on this plane. Beautiful altars, lavish feasts, musical cemeteries, catrinas, adorable skulls, sempastil flowers, alebrijes, the bread for the dead are all components of an important custom that constantly tries to remember those who came before us. The festivities are also a party, a celebration of spiritual reunion with loved ones who visit us, despite the days being filled with various emotions, including love, nostalgia, melancholy, and so on. Several places in Mexico celebrate significant occasions like the large procession that passes through Paseo de la Reforma in CDMX and is attended by tens of thousands of locals and visitors from around the globe. Families also congregate to visit cemeteries and participate in processions, ceremonies, and other events held in memory of their departed. And we must mention the influence of American culture that is also present and amalgamates with this beautiful Mexican tradition. Although its meaning is different, Oaxaca is another enchanting Mexican city where you can learn about a significant aspect of the nation's culture. The city is known for its delectable food, fine coffee, colorful clothing with intricate embroidery, and as the cherry on top, the Guela Guetza, a lovely traditional festival also present among the distinctive symbols of the town's identity and history. The Guela Guetza commemorates those trying moments that could have been conquered with the help of people's support, and it celebrates solidarity, the ability to share, and that this is reciprocated. You should reserve time in your calendar for July, especially the Mondays that follow July 16th, when the Cerro del Fortin is decked out to welcome the participating delegations and tens of thousands of tourists who come to participate in an incredible festival. You should not miss the parades through Oaxaca de Juarez the preceding weekend. The Calendas with their dances, the Oaxaca and Chinas with their stunning, vibrant costumes, the Marmot, Fireworks and Mezcal. Number 2. Mexico Fairs You can participate in live performances, concerts by local and international artists, exhibitions of art and culture, and numerous other activities that each venue has planned. One of the nation's oldest and most well-known fairs. The San Marcos Fair in Aguas Calientes takes place between April and May. The Leon Fair, which takes place in February, also draws prominent people. You should take advantage of various other options for these celebrations in Mexico, including the National Fair of Durango in July, the Tabasco Fair, 
in Villa Hermosa in May and the National Fair of Zacatecas in September. I won't list them all here, but there are many more that you need to experience. Number 1, 16th September. September is a very Mexican month. You start to see carts selling costumes, flags, toys, hats, and souvenirs on the first day of the month. The decoration in stores, homes, government buildings, and even on the streets add to the romance of those dates. And the massive flags, which have a tall mast from which gigantic canvas flutters in the colors of Mexico. And an exceptional touch, the entire nation is dressed in colorful attire to prepare for September 16th, the day on which the cry of independence since 1810 is honored. The 15th is the day for the festivities when crowds of people gather in front of the government buildings of each destination to live and celebrate the joy of letting out the cry of independence. The festivities follow a protocol that gives the act solemnity and stirs strong feelings in every Mexican. The Zocalo in Mexico City, which appears breathtakingly gorgeous and hosts one of the most magnificent parties in all of Mexico, is undoubtedly one of the most popular locations. You can also participate in the Mascasada Festival in Salvatierra, Guanajuato, the Santa Luca Festival in Monterrey, the Tamaulipas International Festival, and so on. Although carnivals are not a party exclusive to the country, beautiful carnival celebrations take place in Mexico, which in February are an essential attraction in several destinations. Although each location has a unique method of celebrating carnival, the classics that cannot be missed in these events include people dressed in costume, tropes, music, burning of dolls or foul humor, the election of the queen, allegorical cars, and a lot of partying. Among Mexico's top carnivals, Campeche, Mazatlan, Merida, Cozumel, and Veracruz all feature excellent staging that encourages locals and visitors to celebrate significantly. However, the multiculturalism of this lovely nation provides us with different carnival celebrations and unique events that feature the mystique of indigenous customs. You can learn about unusual occasions and ways to celebrate, like the carnivals in Tlaxcala or the Totonacas celebration north of Sierra de Puebla, where dancing groups, mulatos, and juegues are organized. It's also interesting to learn about places like Zachila in Oaxaca, Joejotzingo in Puebla, and Zucacab in Yucatan, where the carnival is celebrated as a battle. Traditional dances like those performed in Aguacatitlan with concheros, pastoras, and tecuanes, or the feather and gardener dances in Capulhuac, to name a few. You only need to check the carnival schedule of your location or the city you wish to travel to to witness the various events taking place during these dates. The rest will be to enjoy. This wraps up our video for today. Thank you for sticking with me. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you in our following video.